Zara, is it true about the therapy thing? Yeah, completely true. I had to have a lot of therapy to be able to come onto this show. So I, I mean, this time seven, eight months ago, I couldn't even sing in front of my own parents. Um, so for me to be able to do this, it's like the, the biggest thing I've ever done in my whole life. So yeah, for me personally, it's just like a massive journey to get to, get to here. So good, so it works. Yeah. Therapy works. So it that's does, so but it's, good. it's also, I, I found about not letting yourself say no to something and like pushing yourself to do it. I mean, mm. I could have, there's so been so many times in my life where I've tried to get up on stage and because there has been a way out and I've been able to go, actually, no, I don't want to do it. I've not done it. And it almost made it worse because uh, there was always an, a way out for me. And just pushing yourself to make sure that you, you have to say yes to doing it. You just got to do things a couple of times that scare you and then and then you feel better, that's what I found. And also obviously having these three around me to be like, come on Zara, come on Zara, you can do it. There's it like, no backing out but... once you're about to go on stage yeah. live on X Factor, she can't run away. I can't. <laughs> Isn't that can't. such a nice story though? That, and for so many young people out there as well, and everyone out there is struggling the same way, they're looking at the end result. That is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So, so Hopefully, good. Hopefully like, some people can take a little bit of you know, what I've gone through and, and maybe it can inspire them to do something that they wouldn't yeah, normally do and push anything, themselves. Really. Yeah, for I'm, sure. I'm scared of spiders because someone helped me with that, do you reckon? Maybe. So am I. <laughs> it ruins my Going life. Going hypnotherapy. So it ruins my life. Change your life. So can you imagine doing this going forward together? If, when you win the X Factor, is this what you <laughs> want to do? When we win. I like the mentality <laughs> there. Um, we're taking this so seriously, you know, we wouldn't be here if we didn't see a future together as a group going on to do hopefully some incredible things in terms of touring and releasing singles and albums so until yeah, one of you goes to the jungle and doesn't tell anyone else <laughs> <laughs> well, if someone can go to the jungle they've just got to come back and join it and <laughs> back. Join the band. <laughs> not, like we're not going to restrict what the vocals are like in the rainforest yeah. 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 but um no I, I don't think i think we've we've come into this as a as a band and we want to leave it as a band and it's not just this process that we're trying to achieve that we're trying to it's not the end goal winning the x Factor is not the end goal it's it's a it's a milestone in the sense of things we're, we're aiming for that and it would be incredible to do that because obviously you get the record label but we want that record label because we want to work together post show it's it, we've put too much work in for this for it to be another three weeks and who would have thought that you went into a villa and you've come out as a band? It's, it's such a weird thing. It's mad. But it's, it's, I think it's been quite good because people never expected us to, to do well in the show. And then obviously we've got such positive comments. We've mm. had great um, positive comments online. Simon gave us the golden buzzer last week. People are now starting to turn, like stand up and think, well, fair play to them. Like they've actually done, done something yeah. well with it and done something positive. And that's the best part, just expect the unexpected, you know, that I think that's what we're all here living mm. for and proving to people. Nobody expected us to even get through judges' houses, let alone this far, and hopefully they don't expect us to go on to being a great band, but we're going to prove them wrong. And like you're seeing Nicole Scherzinger every day, like, it's so <laughs> casual, right? <laughs> it She's weird, a legend. Man. I know, yeah. It's it it's, 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 <laughs> I think for me it's still seeing Simon. Yeah, it's Simon, it's, it's Simon. You know, like, when Nicole's you're standing cool, there. But we, don't, we, we don't see her that much. Yeah, She's not our mentor, so we only really see her on show nights, but Simon we see more. Um, and I just wanted to talk about Love Island. Um, I never asked you before, but who do you think is the best Islander ever? Who do you think was the Ooh. best one that we've seen on TV? Ever. Ever. Yeah. ever. The best A Islander. A single person. Who do you think is like kind of the epitome of Love Island? Well, when I think of Love Island, Olivia I think of Chris and Kim, I don't know why. I don't know, just because that was the first For bromance, me, but they're not like, they weren't my best ever ones, yeah. but like they're... Uh, I don't know, I, I never can't even, I don't know, I don't Alex think... Alex and Olivia series, but I think first? Alex and Olivia. Who was the geezer? Oh my God, Chris. No, it wasn't Chris, sorry. I John, like John, 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 John. John. Oh, the rainbow, um, yeah, a unicorn, unicorn thing. Yeah, yeah I've never, I've never watched was, that one. Funny guy. I think Olivia Atwood. I think she's brought some TV gold in her there's time. There's so many, isn't there? There's a lot of, there's yeah. a lot of I really goats. can't. I'm, Me, we're joking. Look, <laughs> there's a lot of yeah. goats. And when you look at them, what they, everyone's achieved, it's amazing what Love Island's done for people, Oh, isn't yeah. It? The it's platform incredible. is amazing. Like some people in West End shows, some You're people got their When are we going to see you brand? having a little appearance back on the West End? <laughs> Not right now. We're going to world domination. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.